Good morning. Praise God. God bless you and all of your family. Thank you for another Saturday. Praise God. Maybe you're getting your rest. Maybe you sleep today. Maybe you're just chilling. Whatever you're doing, just give God praise and thanks and the glory. Praise God. Um, I just want to share with you, um, you know, I'm going to read a little bit about, you know, not being ashamed. I'm going to read a little bit about approval, approved workers, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, <coughs> uh, wanted against drifting away. Um, first, I'm going to start with warning um, against drifting away. Uh, I'm going to read it here off the uh, NLT Bible, uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. Verse 1 through 4. It says, So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. For the message of, for the message God delivers through angels has already I mean has always stood firm. And every violation of the law and every act of disobedience was punished. So what makes us think we can escape if we ignore this? great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him speak and God confirmed the message by giving signs and wonders and vigorous uh, miracles and gift of the Holy Spirit whenever he chooses. Uh, I will share with you um, The approval of work, workers, works. Um, that's I'm gonna read Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Second Timothy, chapter two, verse fifteen through nineteen. Um, it says, "Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive His approval." Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly explains the word of truth. Avoid worthless, foolish talk that only leads to more godless behavior. This kind of talk spreads like cancer, as in the case uh, of, of, of in the case. They uh, have left the path of truth, claiming that the resurrection of the dead has already occurred accurate well occurred in this way they have turned some people away from the faith but God true stand firm like a fountain like a foundation stone who are his and all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil if you belong to the Lord you know you trying to do the will of God and, and stand fast and do what's right you got to turn yourself away from that evil you got to uh, you know, renew the way you think, transform the way you think, transform your body to the new, you know, try and transform your mind and your soul into the body of Christ, you know, something new, something different, get all that evilness, evil away from people, whatever you need to do to get away from, you know, all that stuff for you to get right and stay right and do the will of God for your life. Second <clears throat> um, Timothy, Second Timothy chapter 1, I'm going to read, uh, verse 12 through 14 see that is why I'm suffering here in prison but I am not ashamed of it for I know the one in whom I trust and I am sure that he is able to guard what I have in trust to him until the day of his return hold on the pattern of wholesome teaching you learn from me a pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have Christ Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you praise God um, I don't want to just uh, say that uh, you know I'm just to stand on your foundation stand stand on the world the foundation is the world stand on the world you know work hard you know work with hard you, you haven't you know and you work go to work on your job or whether you're uh, going to work or you got your own business, you're working hard, you're doing whatever you need to do is hard, you know, hard work. Same thing with God trying to say you're proving His work, you know, work hard. You know, we don't say you can't do, just work a little harder, you know, and trust in Him, get in the world, do the will of God for your life. As always, I'm going to keep on saying it every day, every day, praise God. 
do God's work. Trust in Him. You know, let Him get that had ability to uh, let a man come into your life and you know your spirit to uh, get you together, get you right, and keep you on course and on solid ground for Him. Praise God. Um, <clears throat> I just want to read here Hebrews chapter 2 verse uh, verse 8 you gave them authority over all things now when it says all things it means nothing is left out but we have not yet seen all things but under their authority what we do see is Jesus who was given a position a little lower than the angels and because he suffered death for us he is not he is now crowned with glory and honor, yet by thy grace. Jesus tasted, tasted death for everyone, died for whom and through, and though died and through whom everything was made, choose to bring many children to glory. And it was only right that he should make Jesus, through, uh, through his suffering, a perfect leader, which to bring them into their salvation. So now Jesus and the one he makes holy will have so now Jesus and the one he makes holy have the same father that is why Jesus is not ashamed to call them his brother and sister for he said to God you know it's like you know Jesus wasn't ashamed to call his brother and sister you know so why should you be ashamed praise God Jesus wasn't ashamed so if you want to be like Jesus you can't be ashamed of the gospel you can't be you can't be ashamed of the truth of what <clears throat> you know he wants us to do, praise God. Anyway, um I wanted to share that with you, you know, I'm hearing um, you know, on T V the news and somebody uh says something about somebody got a some woman, first time a woman had uh their own church or something. It's uh they read out the uh some book called the Mormon, the, the Mormon book, something like that, Mormon, M -O, M -O -R -M -O -N, the, Mo the Mormon book, you know, <clears throat> so they, which she would have in the church, you know, you know, it's like, it seemed like almost like a demand, you know, automatic from the top, it said, you know, 10%, pay 10% of your time, which is right, you know, it's in the Bible, you know, and the other stuff they have, like a woman, you know, it's like, they tell them how to be a woman, how to be a wife and everything, and what to do. You know, according to God's way, you know, and then I was looking at, you know, some demonstration that they were showing on, on the women's how they, you know, at the table with their family and their kids, and you know, they tell, you know, kids come to the table, eat, you know, you eat, you, see, you say your prayer, um, you know, no TV, don't no TV, no game, you know, you say your prayer, go to school, come home, read the Bible, you know, on and on every day. It's like. I'm like, where's the playtime? You know, can they play, you know, outside or something? You know, only at school, they can just do that. I mean, what about at home? It's like at, at a home, you know, in the house. You know, it's like, eat, go sleep, you know, get up, pray, read the Bible, eat, go sleep, get up, pray, read the Bible, whatever. And then I'm like, wow, you know, so they have their, you know, own little thing going on. It's like, okay, God didn't say, you know, that you can have no fun. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, a kid, you know, they want to ride the bike, you know, skate or something, you know, but it's like no TV for them and no, just no nothing. It's like, I'm like to myself, don't that seem like it's kind of like a prison thing, you know, and, <clears throat> you know, no activity and nothing like that going on, but, you know, well, there's some people, some church, I mean, they just different, they take things a little far, you know, but I'm looking at, I'm like, okay, you got the wife, you know, we got the wife doing it, but what about the husband, you know, I mean, you know, what are these supposed to be doing, just, you know. <laughs> you know, nothing to, you know, I'm like, I mean, you know, just what I was looking at on, on the news, that's not exactly what they come on the news, they were just showing a big old building with the, the lady waiting at the top. I mean, I wanted to turn, I'm like, wow, that's, that's it, like, this kind of, you know, they got carried away with that, you know, they stick with the, the more them book, whatever it says, you know, they, they, they living by, but that book said, you know, but I'm sticking to my King James, you know, book of what it says, praise God, and, you know, temper says, and I in there, they're supposed to give for off and everything, but there's other stuff that they're doing, you know, yeah, you can cut that out more than, you know, you can spend more time in Jesus than all that other food and stuff, yeah, game, whatever, you know, from TV, you know, but sometimes, you know, I may watch TV every now and then, but, you know, I'm not talking about no news, you know, I'm talking, you know, bad news, you know, that's some some good, you know, praise God, but you know, that's how they doing things and praise God and they say 
to be locked in, shut in, shut in as a prisoner and just do my, you know, will and don't do nothing else. You know, it's not say nothing like that, but it's like, some people, they just do their own thing. And a lot of women, they want to go to their church, want to participate and do that then. That's, that's on them, but, you know, at the same time, you know, you say in the Bible, I mean, what they do, you know, whatever you need to know, whatever you need to do, whatever you need to find out for your life is in the book. You in the book, I'm in the book, whatever I need to do, whatever you need to do is in the Bible. So, some you know, people try to live like the old, like the, when Jesus was here, they, they want to live like that, they want to do all the things like that, and, you know, there's still not going to be no household purpose, I don't care, if, you know, who it is, what they're trying to do. So I would say you're not Jesus, you know, you may want to be like them, but you're not Jesus. You know, and um, that's just that. So anyway, I want to pray for each and every last one of you, um, <clears throat> you know, for watching and, you know, tuning on and listening and, you know, and um, getting the world with me that I'm sharing with you. I just want to read one more thing to you, um, you know, about being good, you know, being good soldiers, you know, being good soldiers of Christ Jesus, you know. It's being good, doing good, you know, and he all no bad news. He's always something good in the world of prayer, God. He's always good, something good in Jesus and what, you know, he has for us. I'm going to read up uh, Second Timothy chapter 2, uh, I'm going to start with verse 8. It's always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. And that's good. <laughs> this is good news I preach and because I preach this good news I am suffering and have been changed changed like a criminal but the word of God cannot be changed who praise God so I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God have chosen this is a true worth of saying if we die with him we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will win with him. If we deny him, we will deny us. I mean, he will deny us if we deny him. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. Praise God. Well, he cannot deny who he is. You know, he is who he is. Praise God. Remain, but remind everyone about these things and command them and God presence to stop fighting over the world such arguments or unless and they can ruin those who hear them. You know, you hear people talking about the world God and fighting one another and all this say that this say they're trying to prove that for another say and it's like you know other person listening, it's like you ruin the other, you know, for like we don't know what to believe. You know, we finna go, we don't know what to believe. So I say it's always good and read for yourself, study for yourself, pray to God. And let God show you praise. But he'll show you the difference. He'll show you what's sin. You know, he'll show you, you know, what's true but not true. Praise God. But it's about doing it. There's a lot of people can quote the Bible and everything, but are they living it? Are they doing what they say do? You know, are they are they uh um, you know, doing the will of God for their life? Or are they, you know, being a doer? Are you really doing what the will of God says? I mean, you know, but sometimes you can just preach the word real good. You know, minister to people real good, but it's like at the same time, are you really living? A, are you living? Are you really doing this yourself? Are you really, you know, living the world, the will of God for your life? Are you really um taking action in what you're saying? Are you preaching? Are you teaching? You know what you preach, you practice what you preach yourself. Um, you know, I mean, cause it's easy to talk about the word of God and preach the word of God and. Sound make it sound so good, and, and you do it over and over and again and again. But when you get behind closed doors at home, it's like, well, are you really uh meaning what you're saying, what you preach to the people? You know, are you really living, you know, doing the will of God for your life or doing what He say do? But you just out there, you know, just collecting offering and tired, you know, doing what you want to do with it, you know, and you surviving with the people, you know, what they giving for, you know. Basically for the Lord, really, you know, and for they said, but whatever you give, you'll get back and return anyway. Praise God and more. Praise God. But anyway, <clears throat> I just want to pray for each and every last one of you. Um, you know, hoping that um, 
you know, they be blessed, you know, Saturday, whatever, I don't know, maybe resting, chilling, and exercising, you know, coffee, whatever you do, you know, I've been looking at YouTube, different books on YouTube, praise God, anybody want to pray for each and every last one of you, Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every last one of you that's watching, God bless you and God keep you, I pray you have a blessed day, I pray that you'll be prospered. I say, God, I pray that you will be prosperous in all that you do. And I pray you get in the world and be stay tuned on and do the will of God for your life. In Jesus' name, I pray that uh, God will protect you in every area of your life. And I pray that uh, whatever you're going through, I pray that whatever pain that you feel, whatever you're going through, I don't know what it is, but God knows. I just pray he'll just uh, restore that pain and release that pain and help you get it together and whatever, you know, whatever it is. I just pray the Lord just be with you and help you and lead you and guide you and protect you and all the angels around you in Jesus' name. I pray you'll be blessed. Not stressed, be blessed in all that you do. Stay steadfast, do the will of God. I pray no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. And nothing works without God. And I pray you'll stand fast and steadfast on the word and do the will of God for your life. In Jesus' name, no matter who you are, if you're scamming people, you don't, you don't want, want to be identified, I want to show your face, whoever you are, I pray you get the word of God and do the will of God for your life also. Why are you scanning and doing this and talking and all this stuff on, you know, leaving mess or whatever you do. But pray God, I pray the Lord will just renew your mind and transform your mind and your body into Christ. And do the right thing in Jesus' name. God bless you anyhow. In Jesus' name I pray. And God bless every children from maybe on your, I know you on your, um, not school day to day. You, I pray that you have a blessed and glorious day to day. I pray you get in the world and start somewhere. Read the Bible. You know, be good and be on your best and, you know, and enjoy your childhood, your kidhood, your teenagerhood, you know, and stay out of trouble. Stay away from drugs and, and alcohol in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I pray the Lord will just be with you and strengthen you in every area of your life also in Jesus' name. God bless the children in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I pray that one that's practicing sex without, you know, marriage, I pray you would just do the will of God, do what's right. It's best to be married than have sex. That's what sex, sex is for. Marriage is for sex. Sex is for marriage, not sex is not to be out having sex. I just pray the Lord just to just help you in that area, whatever your uh, your weakness are in sex. I just pray here just, you know, keep your home all strong in Jesus' name for you not to be going out and do what that he's not even desired for you to do in the first place, but to be married first. Be with that one one. Love that one. Love everybody. But love that man one. As God at first loved you. In Jesus' name I pray. Glory be to God. God bless each and every last one. I pray that each and every last one you be blessed today. Enjoy your Saturday. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. But, um, you know, I just thank you, Jesus. God, for this, you know, pray for everyone. I'm not ashamed to pray and say what I need to say or say what I want to say. Praise God that, you know, that help someone, you know, somebody may be needing that prayer. Somebody may be, you know, just looking for prayer, you know, looking for somebody to pray for them on YouTube or whatever. You know, sometimes I can't get through somebody to pray for them, by whether it's on the telephone or whatever, you know. And praise God. You know, God bless you. Um, and I wanted to thank you once again for watching and tuning on. And uh, remember, God love you, and so do I. You know, until next time, you know, take care, you know, and enjoy life, you know, because you may be a Christian, maybe, you know, you think that you can't have fun, you know, go up, skating, ice skating, bowling, or whatever, pray God, go to the mall, or whatever, you know. You know, you can't do them things. You can still have fun and just keep God first, no matter what and all you do. Praise God. Until next, you know, until next time, you know, you can say we can have fun, you know, praise God. Just keep them in the mix of it and just don't do nothing out of control. Just do what Jesus would do. Praise God. Go out and pray with someone, you know. Go tell them Jesus loves you, you know. Just, you know, just keep a smile on your face. Speak to somebody, you know. You know, just be happy, praise God. Get all that madness and, you know, lip all poking out, you know, just thank God if you got another day, he woke you up this morning, praise God, whether you rich or poor or broke, no matter, you know, you got life, you know, you're going to be all right, you know, you're going to be okay, whoever you are, you're going to be okay, you just trust in God, stand on the word, and don't give up, don't stop, don't quit, praise God, that's the key, don't stop, don't quit, you know, you just keep on and keep on and keep on, praise God, 
So until next time, God bless you. God keep you. I'll see you later. Take care. You have a blessed and wonderful day. God bless you and your family. See you later.